All right, here we go. Question number 20 from our 1316 homework number one in my lab math. They have given us an ordered pair, 24 comma negative seven, and they want us to find the value of each of the six trigonometric functions of theta. And so over here in my coordinate system, over here in my drawing pad, I want you to notice that we've got some new formulas here. Every problem that we have covered up to this point has been uh, an ordered pair or an angle in the unit circle. And you need to know that the radius of any unit circle is one. Well, it turns out that not every circle has a radius of one. So if you're talking about a larger circle or a smaller circle, if the radius is not one, then you're gonna need formulas for your trig functions based on the different radius. And so these are the formulas we're gonna be using, as well as, did you notice the Pythagorean theorem sitting up here? He's gonna come into play too, okay? So let's get started seeing how to work this particular problem. First thing we wanna do is we wanna start by plotting the point that's gonna be over 24, and then we're gonna go down to negative seven. And you're gonna notice real quick that my scale is not the same on the X and Y axis, that's okay. Just know that we're gonna go in the positive X direction and the negative Y direction to plot our point. And then we're gonna make note of that, that that is the ordered pair 24, negative seven. And <clears throat> that is our X and Y. So we now know X and Y. What we don't know is the radius, okay? So if the center of the coordinate system is the center of the circle, then we've got a circle, something like that in the coordinate system. And we need to find the radius. We need the radius of that circle. Well, the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take a different color, let's say purple, and we're gonna draw a line from that point back to the x-axis. And notice what I've constructed is a right triangle. Okay, so I know that one of the legs here on the x-axis, that length is 24. And then the length of the other leg going down, that length is negative seven. And if I know two of the sides of a right triangle, I can find the third side with Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, the radius of the circle corresponds to the uh, hypotenuse of the right triangle. And so now we're gonna plug and play into Pythagorean theorem to find the length of our radius, okay? Here we go. So the 24, is going to be the a so that's going to be 24 squared plus negative 7 is the b negative 7 squared and the c is always the hypotenuse or in this case is the radius the a and the b it doesn't matter what order they go in just know that the two sides that make up the right angle those have to be your a and your b okay and then we're gonna to go to our handy dandy calculator to calculate that value. 24 squared plus negative seven squared, we get 625. And then we have to get rid of the squared to figure out what the radius is. We're gonna take the square root to get rid of the squared. And it turns out the square root of 625 is 25, okay? So now what we know is we know the radius of the circle as well as the X and the Y coordinates. And we can now find our ratios. We can now find the value of each of the six trigonometric functions, okay? So here we go, sine is Y over R. Cosine is X over R. and tangent is y over x. So far so good? Now, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. 
So I'm just going to take the sine and flip it. Cos uh, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So I'm just going to take the cosine and flip it. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. And I'm done. Now let's see how we did. Sine is negative 7 over 25. Cosine is 24 over 25. And tangent is negative 7 over 24. Bam. All right, so then the rest of these should be good. Just make sure that you do the one they asked for, cotangent, negative 24 over 7. Secant, 25 over 24. And cosecant, negative 25 over 7. And I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.